Hey everyone, how are you this week? I posted earlier this week about an abandoned motor vehicle left on the common property of a building that I am working with. And lots of you jumped in and added your comments about what we should be doing about that vehicle. You could see in the photo that I popped up with the post that we had put a notice on that vehicle under regulation 34 of the Strata Schemes Management Regulation 2016 here in New South Wales. Uh, I do have a bit of an update today. The update is that the vehicle is gone. That is all that we know, actually. The vehicle is gone. It is no longer there. Uh, not sure where it's disappeared to or who has uh, decided to move it, but it seems that uh, I guess the owner or whoever it was that left it there has returned and now it is gone. Uh, so all is well that ends well for that building. But I thought it was a good opportunity to uh, jump on and share a bit more about this process of what we should be doing when we have uh, illegally parked, seemingly abandoned motor vehicles on the common property or other abandoned goods on the common property uh, and goods meaning not motor vehicles but other things and we do have a process set out in our New South Wales legislation that we have to follow quite carefully and if you do that then you have uh, certain helpful steps available to you when it comes to dealing with these situations so as I've mentioned you want to check out regulation 34 in the strata schemes management regulation in New South Wales when it comes to motor vehicles left on the common property so that they are blocking an exit or entrance or otherwise obstructing the common property. So if you've got a vehicle doing that, then you can rely on regulation 34 and follow the steps set out in that regulation. The essential part of which is placing a removal notice on the vehicle. The removal notice must be at least A4 size. It must be placed in a position so that it is not going to be affected by the weather. So popping it on the windscreen of the car, you're putting it in a plastic sleeve. The notice must describe the vehicle and state the date and time that it was issued. So set out the uh, license plate details, uh, the color, the make of the car. The notice must say that this vehicle will be removed if it is not moved from the common property or so that it no longer obstructs the common property by a certain date or a certain date and a time. And that date and time must not be less than five days from the date of issue of the notice. So five days is the minimum that we have to leave that notice there. And your notice must include the contact details for the committee or the strata managing agent or the other delegate, some other delegate of the owner's corporation. Now, if the vehicle is still there when that notice period expires, then the owner's corporation can cause the vehicle to be moved to another place on the common property or to the nearest place to which it may be lawfully moved. What does that mean? I don't really know what that means. And this part of our legislation has not been tested. So what I tell my clients, the buildings that I'm working with, is that if you've complied with this removal notice procedure and your five days is up or whatever is the uh, five days or more that you have listed on the notice, then you can contact the towing company and you tell the towing company, please move this vehicle to the nearest place to which it may lawfully be moved. I suggest that that instruction is in writing so that there is no uh, doubt about um, what the instruction has been. And the company will then um, take steps to deal with the vehicle as they believe they are able to pursuant to the law. Uh, and you may have some fairly switched on companies who want to see that the removal notice has been placed and that they are then legally able to move that vehicle. Um, we haven't, as far as I'm aware, seen any cases about this in New South Wales. I'll be very interested to see if somebody challenges what might have happened with their car uh, when they turn up and it's gone. Um, but that is the procedure that we have available to us in New South Wales when it comes to vehicles that are blocking an entrance or an exit on the common property or otherwise obstructing the use of the common property. Now, I say if you have a vehicle that's parked in visitor parking and it shouldn't be because they are not a visitor or 
they've overstayed the hours that are set out in your bylaws for visitor parking, then they are obstructing the use of the common property and this procedure does apply. Now, if you're dealing with other abandoned items that are not motor vehicles, then you want to look at Regulation 32 in the 2016 regulation here in New South Wales. And that applies to goods left on the common property other than motor vehicles. It expressly excludes motor vehicles. Uh, once again, you're following the same process. It's called a disposal notice in uh, Regulation 32 about the abandonment of goods. Uh, all of the requirements that are similar to the removal notice for motor vehicles must be followed. But the difference here is that you can actually dispose of the goods after the five days that the notice has been on them. Uh, and you can sell them, uh, you can deal with them in any lawful manner that an owner of goods uh, would otherwise be able to deal with them. So put them up on Gumtree and take your best offer. Uh, and the purchaser of any goods that are sold by this method acquires a good title to the goods and is discharged of any interest that any other person may have had in the goods. So that is set out in regulation number 32. I want to be really clear that that does not apply to motor vehicles. Don't go selling cars that are blocking uh, the common property or that are illegally parked on the common property. That's a very uh, different um, outcome when we're dealing with motor vehicles to when we're dealing with abandoned goods on the common property. So uh, I've had, yeah, recent success uh, for both of those, issuing both of those notices for both goods and for cars. Uh, so it works, guys. I know when this new legislation came out, um, and we were wondering how it would be applied. Is it going to be useful? Is it actually going to assist buildings who are dealing with these kinds of problems with ab abandoned vehicles or goods on the common property? My experience recently has been, yes, it works. Put the notice up and goods, vehicles disappear. It's like magic. Good luck. If you engage in this process, let us know how you go. Always happy to hear. Uh, and yeah, scroll down further to the page and you'll see some of those comments uh, arising from the earlier post this week where we were dealing with that abandoned vehicle, which happily it's no longer abandoned. It's found a home. See you guys.